Here are my top 10 favorite Child's Play moments of the Child's Play franchise. So, uh, I watched the entire Child's Play franchise again uh, for uh, during this month for this video. So, <clears throat> so I watched all of the original seven movies plus the Child's Play 2019 reboot. So, um, only three kills are allowed to be on the list. Let's get started. I surprisingly actually got every single film, at least one moment, uh, on the list. So, at number 10 is Tony's Kill from A Seed of Chucky. Uh, this is easily the best kill of the, uh, movie. He gets, uh, uh, wire decapitates him. Tiffany and Chucky pull, uh, the wire decapitates him. Blood spraying everywhere. I really like that. It's a really good kill. So it comes out as one of my favorite moments of the franchise. Number nine is the rat poison scene of Curse of Chucky. Um, Chucky puts rat poison into one of the uh, vegetarian chilies. Uh, and then you don't know who's eating it. And it's like, uh, Ian is like, oh my god. Oh, this is so delicious. And like, uh, Alice says, like, oh, mine tastes funny. Uh, and, and it was uh, just... Uh, it was really good suspense, and then, unfortunately, you find out Father Frank ate the chili. So, uh, really good suspense. Best scene of Curse of Chucky. Number eight is the end battle of Child's Play 3. Uh, I love the aesthetic. I don't like that movie that much, but I, I love the third act. Uh, they're in a carnival ride, um, and, uh... Uh, they go into a separate part, and there's a roller coaster, and, uh, uh, there's a big fan, and, uh, eventually Chucky falls into the fan, gets chopped up into millions of pieces. Uh, it's a really good way to end that movie. It's a really good aesthetically different way to end the movie, uh, uh, as opposed to being in the army setting, which I think is kind of dull, but, uh, it's, it's a really good way to end that movie. Number seven is Carlos's kill from Cult of Chucky. <clears throat> uh, he gets drilled, eviscerated, and stabbed. Uh, it's a gory kill in Cult of Chucky, uh, so I really like it. Uh, it stands out. <clears throat> uh, it's just a really cool kill, so I, I really like it. Number six is uh, the Living Dead Girl song in Bride of Chucky, the intro to Bride of Chucky. Um... Uh, Tiffany grabs Chucky's doll body, and then uh, just you hear the song play Living Dead Girl. I really like that song. I surprisingly really like the soundtrack of uh, that movie, Rewatching it. Like, oh my god, the soundtrack I actually really like. It's not songs that I really know that much, but watching Bride of Chucky, uh, it's like, oh yeah, I like that song. This is from Bride of Chucky, so I really like that uh, so, a standout moment is Living Dead Girl eh, in that movie. <clears throat> Number five is Chasing Charles Lee Ray in the store from the original Child's Play. It's a good way to start start it off. It's like Charles Lee Ray <clears throat> is uh, running from Mike Norris. Mike is shooting at him. Uh, it's a really good way to start it off. There's an explosion. I really like that. Uh, it has always stood out as being... A really good moment in the franchise for me. Number four um, is my favorite kill of the franchise. That's Shane's kill from uh, the Child's Play reboot. Um, uh, <clears throat> he gets his legs broken and then uh, gets his head mulched up by a tiller. And then Chucky continues to stab him. I really like that kill. Um, he's mean throughout half the movie. Uh, and then he finally gets killed in uh, the uh, halfway through the movie, halfway of the runtime of the movie. So I really like it. It's such a really cool, gory kill. Um, uh, nothing more to say. Just a really good kill in the franchise. Number three is um, Andy and Chucky just hanging out in the Child's Play reboot. Um it really builds their relationship, which the first one really doesn't, although that's not a problem with the uh, original series, because Chucky is very much a villain in the original, 
in this one, he's actually supposed to be a sympathetic character. So just them playing games and and them uh, pulling pranks on Shane, it's it it builds up their relationship and uh, really makes you feel for when uh, Andy has to kill Chucky uh, and when Andy has to get rid of Chucky for the first time and then actually has to kill Chucky at the end of the film. So I really like that. I really like it that it builds up their relationship uh, a bit. So I, uh, it just really stands out in not only that movie, but only in, but also in the franchise. Number two is Chucky attacking Mike Norris in the car from Child's Play. Um, uh, Chucky is in the back of Mike's car and then he starts choking him with a uh, tube. Mike has to drive trying to dodge uh, cars on the road, but then also having, having to dodge Chucky's knife when he's stabbing, uh, the, uh, stabbing through the chair. Uh, so I just thought it was really cool. And this scene, re-watching it, it makes me wonder, what would a Chucky movie look like if it, was, if it took more of an action approach to it? Because, like, that moment is awesome. That moment is suspenseful, thrilling, um, action-y, so it's like, I, I almost want a Chucky movie, I, I almost want a Chucky action movie, because with that one scene, it's like, I think you could really do it. I think you could really make an action-centric movie with Chucky. It's still horror, it, it, it'll still be scary, but like, just have more action sequences in the movie. That actually would have been, that actually would be a really cool, different, uh, uh, Chucky movie. And I think it'd probably make for one of the better and even more entertaining Chucky movies of making it more of an action film. So that I would actually like to see. But my number one favorite moment is the Toy Factory scene from Child's Play 2. Um, there's machinery all around, uh, uh, Chucky's death in it is really good. He, uh, gets molten plastic, uh, get, uh, gets spilled on him. And then, uh, he gets blown up with the air tube and he blows up. Uh, that's really cool. Now this, contrary to my number two, this I don't feel like is an action sequence. Uh, it's more of just like a suspenseful horror scene. Uh, and just a cool way to show, to see the Toy Factory. Because I really don't think this is action. Because there's not really an action-type fight. There's not really an action-type chase in it. So this, I don't think, really counts as it. But, I mean, it's a really good moment. I really like the aesthetic of the Toy Factory. Um, I like Chucky's death in it. Um, uh, it's just uh, really cool. Um, Andy and Kyle have to protect each other. Andy saves Kyle at the end, and, uh, Chucky finally gets killed at the end. Perfect way to end Child's Play 2. Uh, so the Toy Factory scene is my number one favorite Child's Play moment of the franchise. Thanks for watching.